Today, I bought the Lego Star Wars probe droid set. Hello everyone, it is our Republic Studs, and today we are taking a look at the Imperial Probe Droid 18 Plus, possibly UCS set, set 75306, coming with 683 pieces, retailing currently at 60 United States dollars. It is quite an interesting set, and I am so excited to get into it. Now, this one is arguably one of a kind. This is the first of these droid type sets that we've gotten, and I personally predict this will continue a theme along the lines of us getting pit droids and possibly gonk droids. Let's go gonk droid. And overall, I found this one quite interesting, and we don't have any rumors of this line continuing, so it makes me wonder how well these actually sold. And the big question with this one is, does it qualify as a UCS set? Because it does come with that plaque. Now, with that said, I cannot wait to get into it, but first, I am going to ask you all to hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me, and we are going to take a good look at this set. So with that said, let's get into it. But first, we also do have chapters, so if you guys want to watch a certain section of the video, then we'll have that all down below. So if you want to skip the hyperlapse, then we're going to go right into that, and then if you want to skip that, just skip ahead. Okay, everyone, so first off, here is the box art. It is the simple black box art, well known for these 18 plus sets at this point. Same one and same style as the helmet sets. You get the Imperial Probe Droid logo with the Imperial logo up there. Uh, you get the Probe Droid, and if you move down, you get a look at the whole thing in mid-bobber. You get all the details down there, making for a very clean front box art. Moving to the back of the box, we do get a fantastic look at the Probe Droid again. And it looks great. You do get, again, a look at all the dimensions of that thing, which looks really good. And then down there, you do get a little look at what it looked like on the Battle of Hoth. And by the way, may I note, this is a great counterpart to go alongside your UCS 
ATAT -AT set, just if you want to have a whole shelf display of Hoth stuff, this is a great counterpart for that. They also are continuing that side box art, which you guys know I just love. Now next up here is a look at the instruction manual. It's very simple. You do have a QR code, which is great for when you need that. You also do get a look at the tribute to our favorite Star Wars droids. I, I don't know if that, that, that is accurate, if that's the favorite droid, but you do get a look at the whole set on the movie of the droid. And that's very cool. You get that in all the different languages. You get the basics. Uh, and then you do get, obviously, all of the feedback and win. It's not as cool as that screaming kid, in my opinion. You get no real advertisements back here, which I find interesting. And then you get a simple black Star Wars logo, really keeping in theme with the adult style of sets, the 18 plus set. Now, here is the set, and I almost find it a hard time in terms of focusing on it because it is such a weird design and model. Uh, but yeah, we'll get into look into the build in a second, but first I want to take a look at the platform. Now a great little feature is you could actually pull out the probe droid and you could leave him to stand around, but he doesn't stand very well without it. In fact, he just fell. So anyway, here is the platform. It is a great little snowy platform, which I absolutely love it when they do this. Now you do get a look at the Viper probe droid logo. You do get a thing that says from the Archide Industries, the manufacturer, the alliance's affiliation with the Galactic Empire. These were also used during the Separatist timeline. The Exploration Renaissance, obviously another great little detail there. That is when they were discovered. So they were discovered pretty early on in the Star Wars universe. A long-range center self-destruct mechanism. Repulsor lift engines and manipulator arms, which are pretty much everywhere. You also get a great little blue depiction of this thing. It is on a platform, and if you really do so desire, it is only clipped in. So if you want, you could just basically take it out, and it's really quite easy, and you don't have to look at it if you really don't desire to, and you just get this nice little platform. Okay, now here is the full probe droid build, and I actually want to start at the top. Now, first off, you do get this headpiece. It comes with all the greebling and detailing, which, by the way, is some of the best I've seen on a set like this. You get all those little dots. You get the glass. You get all the different eyes. There's three different eyes, actually, which look all great. I love these exclusive pieces. There were so many extra pieces. You guys, it would quite boggle the mind. There's also some stickers up here. There's also the two antennae on here. They were quite an interesting build, and I think they just nailed the head. It does spin around at 180. Actually, I crack that 360 degrees which is just fantastic and obviously i really don't think they couldn't have not done that so moving down you do get a look at the center area of the set uh, which is not move around 360 degrees but is quite interesting it's very kind of a repetitive build you do some repetitive things it's not too bad though it's not like awful you do get this little orange marker so that tells you which side you're building on I'm not entirely sure if those are actually there in lore, but it certainly helps in terms of the building process. And then you move down to the legs. Now these were probably the worst part and probably the least durable part that if you want to keep this on a shelf for years to come, it would get very difficult for them not to break apart. I've had them break apart several times just in the course of me using it, putting it together and reviewing it. I've had a lot of parts actually come off, which is a huge downgrade. And I think it's something that's easily avoidable if you're not as klutzy as I am, but they are all very thin. So that's something to take into uh, consideration. And that's also why this is an 18 plus set. Uh, but you do get all of them different ones. This one comes with a little like drill. You can look up here, that's really neat. And then you do get obviously the clamper ones, which are the more common. You get clampers like this, and they clamp down on things. And they're just little arms that you use. See, like, look at that. Look how easy it was for that to just pop off. Uh, and I think Lego's designers probably could have worked on that better. And the problem is even, look, putting it back, I am just having a heap of trouble. And again, I am also partially klutz, but that, that I feel like is not my fault. Like that knocked off so easily. It was not even like giving me a shot. Uh, and that is the big detractor of the set. But overall, that is why it is a display model and not really a toy. Now that is actually a full look at the model of the set, and also, by the way, a quick note, you do get the snow on the special plate, which is fantastic, I love that little detail. With that said, we are going to get right on in to my thoughts. Now, in terms of rating, this is a very interesting set because it's very unique. And that's why for an adult collector, I would give this a solid 9 out of 10. It is a great display piece. The only reason I would advise against it is because of it's not an iconic piece. When you look at this, this is not a particularly interesting thing out of Star Wars. I think if you want to get a more iconic piece that's great, better looking on a shelf, you'd want to stick with a helmet set. Uh, like the Scout Trooper, which is, I believe, half the price. Or close to it anyway. And 
I just feel like that's the biggest problem with this set, and that's why I'm only ranking it slightly lower. And, you know, other than that, it's a great build. It's a great design. I believe it is also to be a great value. Now, for kids, this is a 0 out of 10. Don't buy this. It's not a fun play set. It's a boring-looking character, relatively speaking. There's a billion other things you could get for this price range that are better, in my opinion. And also, minifigures are missing, which is a minus. I would have liked to have a mini probe droid, but hey, that's just a thought. With that said, I will see you guys all in the next one. I want to hear your thoughts about the set in the comments down below. Remember to peace out and stay awesome.